So happy to be joined by my next guest. He's going to be back in action August 3rd as part of UFC Fight Night in the Middle East. It is Jai Herbert back here on the program. Jai, how's it going? Looking forward to the fight in Abu Dhabi. Uh, really excited to go out there and perform. So, yeah. How are you? I'm I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Um, it's great to see you back. I know we haven't seen you in the cage for, for a little bit here. Uh, what's been the reason for the layoff? Well, you know, you know, I've been ready to, ready to fight since like from last September. Um, I've been I've been ready to go, so that's all I can say from this side. I've just been waiting. You know, I've just I've been told about to wait till now. So there was a fight over in this side of the world, and here we are. I've got the fight now, so I've just concentrated on that. But yeah, it's been a long layoff. Not due not due to my. On my part, but yeah, I'm ready now and I'm ready to go. And I'm, 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 you know, I'm looking forward to this fight. So, just to clarify, you've been ready to go since September. It's just a matter of the UFC hasn't given you a fight. Yeah, I had a little bit of a, um, uh, a, like, not nothing really, a little bit of a knock is injury, but like I, that was that was cleared by September, um, uh, like start of October, I think. Uh, I've just been waiting for a fight. Um, I haven't got any, my visa ran out for America, um, so that's been an issue as well. Um, but other than that, literally, I've just been I've been waiting for five. But here, here we are now. I have got this one in Abu Dhabi, so um, you know, all, I'm concentrating on that now. Everything else just doesn't matter. I'm more concentrating on this next fight. How has the UFC been about that? I know there's I know there's a number of fighters because there's a variety of things going on. Uh, you know, obviously all over the world. As far as fighters being able to compete in the US, have they been cool about it, or like have they been understanding? Obviously, uh, you know, because that kind of limits your options of what cards you can fight on. Yeah, they've been cool. I mean. Like I haven't got any issues basically to getting a visa. Like I had a visa, I haven't got any issues getting it. I just haven't been, I haven't been given, I haven't had um, my visa renewed. You know what I mean? I don't, I, I don't know what's going on, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be clear, like you're not a criminal or anything. We're just saying that, like, I, I know, I know it can be complicated when, um, you know, like you're dealing with like passports and different things. So I was just curious because I know that that does kind of limit your options if you can't fight in the U.S. And and it's not again a a legal thing. It's more of just a process thing, right? Yeah, the process thing. I think I don't know if there's, there's something like going on, like getting the visas and now um, people issued the visas. I've heard that there's been problems with all people as well. You know what I mean? Getting visas and that. So, uh, but I'm not too sure what the whole the uh, the reason is behind that. But um, like I say, it's been frustrating. But I can't control it. All I can control is keeping myself in shape. Like you know, like last year I've done I did a couple of camps. Um, I've had a lot of my teammates have been in camps, you know, I've been training with them, doing all like the, the hard graft with them. So I've kept myself in good shape and I've learned a lot this past year. I guess the only bummer about this is you're not fighting on UFC 304. I'm sure you would have liked to fight on that card, right? Yeah, I would have loved to have fought on that card, you know, I've been on there with my teammate Leon, that would have been great. But, um, you know... I'm happy to, you know. I think as well. I think I needed a bit of a, uh, something fresh. You know, I did. I did the last four London cards, so I feel like, you know, getting out there, getting into a new country, a new a new place would it would do me good. You know what I mean? Uh, bit something a bit fresh, and uh, so I think like, that that's going to be good for good for me and my career. Uh, let's talk about your opponent, Bedoya. Did you know much about him before taking this fight, or was he one of those guys you had to look up? Um, I didn't know too much about him, but then when I did. When I obviously looked him up, I remember seeing him fight before. Um, when he, when I watched him fight Chaos Williams, I remember seeing him fight that fight before. Um, yeah, you know he's a he's a he's a good good fighter, uh, tough kid, um, very durable. He's coming down from welterweight. You know, um, he looks like he should be fighting at lightweight anyway. But I'd take it. Um, you know, he's he's gonna be, he's gonna be coming down from welterweight anyway. And yeah, fights from out of shoot box, I believe. Striker, yeah, that's basically it, you know. Uh, but you know, like I say, I've been, I've been focusing on myself, improving the past year or so. I mean, the work I've been putting in, you know, it's been really frustrating. I, I've been not knowing when I was going to fight, and you know, in three weeks' time, we're eventually here, and you know, I'm going to put on a performance. Any concerns about him making weight at all? Is that something that's crossed your mind? Because we have seen a lot of weight misses here recently. I'm not concerned about it, but I, I, you know, obviously, I thought that you know he's not. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen any of his fights that have been lightweight before, so you know that could be an issue in making the weight. But like again, that's something I can't control. So yeah. I'm just assuming he's he's making the weight, and I'm not really whatever in it. You know, I'm, I'm going over there to, to scrap. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't really care to be honest. Um, I'm going in there to get the win.
so whatever let's talk about camp uh we talked about obviously your teammate leon edwards getting ready for his fight how's leon looking in the gym as he uh, looks to defend that title against blah muhammad yeah leon's been looking re re real sharp you know what i mean he's uh, resting you know his striking's always phenomenal he's you know that's imp that's even improving his resting's tight down defense he's attacking him with his wrestling's great uh but like i think the last two I'll say the last two weeks I haven't seen Leon really because he's started to uh, climatize more to his his time that he's um, fighting at in Manchester. So he's been, you know, he's been doing a bit of um, he's been training a little bit later than me. You see, so I haven't really been seeing him in the last two weeks. But when I did see him, you know, the last time I trained with him, um, you know, he was firing. So uh, I can see him getting the stoppage. I believe he'll probably get a stoppage within, within three rounds. Love it. Like the confidence. And how about your camp? Like uh, you mentioned, um, you know, obviously uh, you come from a great camp. Who, who are some of the guys that are helping you get ready for this one? Who are some of your main training partners? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of, um, a lot of sparring with my Tim Wild, uh, Bellator, Bellator PFL fighter, um, Aiden Lee, Cage Warriors, you know, um, um, Shay, undefeated um, amateur, just turning pro, Shay Ingram. Um, he's one to look out for. He'll probably be. In the, I, can't, I can't see him not being in the UFC. Um, yeah, there's there's a few, a few Emil Brown from Cage Warriors as well. There's a load a load of guys, but um, you know some top level guys um, helping me get prepared. Like I've been helping them get prepared all for their last two three fights because I haven't been fighting. Mm. So, but we're always in the gym together and we're always improving together, and it's always yeah. hard work. And a good variety as well, too. Um, now, I, I like correct me if I'm wrong. Is there, there um, you're going to be fighting at a different time than you would be if you were in the UK? Do you adjust that at all in training? No, it, it, for the Abu Dhabi, I think it's like it's three hours. Oh, okay, gotcha. So it's not too they're, bad. They're, yeah, they're three hours ahead. So um, no, I don't need to. I mean, I think what it is over here is that you will literally be fighting. I think it's I think the, uh, the Manchester card they're going to be fighting it like the, the oh the I Manchester think... card's way worse actually that's kind of a bad thing about being on that card right because don't they have to fight yeah. like I think it's early in the morning or something yeah that, that's the that's one of the the, uh, the downsides to that card you know they're going to be fighting it like the main card starts at three o'clock in the morning yeah um, so that's why they they are just in their times because they're on this time here and then they're going to be fighting like in the morning when they're usually asleep yeah like when I obviously when I travel abroad like to America or to the Middle East, say obviously. Um, I, I'm going to be on their time. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so seven o'clock at night there, or nine o'clock at night there. I'll just, I'll be like, that'll just be normal to me. Yeah, yeah, Does yeah. That, that makes sense. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I totally get what you mean there. That makes sense. Uh, how about the weight cut? I know you've been out for a while. It's kind of tougher to keep that weight down. Uh, how's all that going ahead of the fight? Yeah, you know, I'm, I never really get like too big you know to be honest massive I, I don't really i can't really do i can't really put the weight on you know i, don't, I can never really get heavier than i think the heaviest i get is 82 kilos um okay so you're not in the patty pimblet diet outside of camp no no no, no way <laughs> <laughs> i do eat like i do eat well but you know what i always because i'm always training yeah you know i have to eat well man eat throughout the week like on the weekend saturday when i'm not in camp saturday sundays i'll eat what i want you know what i mean um but like you have to stay, especially when I'm training with these guys, man. If you get if you come in the gym and you're like you're not in shape, man, you're just gonna get hammered, like. Yeah. So it's it's thankful to them, to renegade that I'm I like I keep myself in shape year out because like I'm, I want to be in I will need to be competing with these guys, you know what I mean? So you have to be in shape. So yeah, I never really get you know out of shape and not. I started taking my weight then a little bit this week and I'm I'm like bang on where I usually am, so that's not gonna be an issue. Love it. Uh, your corner, who's going to be in the cage with you for your fight? Yeah, so my um my, uh, my, my coach coming over, Joby Clayton, Tom Coffey, uh, my um, my training partner, Emil Brown. Um, you know, three guys that I've known for years um, that, you know, I'm comfortable with, trust, and I trust their, uh, their you know, their coaching and their everything they got, they're going to tell me. And uh, we're going to get it right on the night, as we, you know, we will do. How long is the travel time over to the Middle East for you? Uh, on the flight, I think the flight's seven and a half hours, eight hours. Okay, yeah. So, so it's it's not, but you know, like I say, it's only three hours in front, so it's not it's not that bad of a time difference or anything. Um, so yeah, it's it's all it's all it's all good. It's not like Vegas where you, you know, I think it's like ten hours or something, and it's yeah. they're eight hours. You know I mean? So yeah, it's tough. Um, how's this one playing out on August third? How do you see it going down? I see it going down. Me just um, 
picking him apart, you know, in and out, um, just touching him up, man. Or 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 three rounds, touching him up, uh, going for the stoppage. But you know, I know he's a he's a he's a tough kid in that, but you know, once once I keep touching him up, touching him up, I'm I'm looking to put him away. How many more fights do you have left after this? I was curious about that as far as your contract. Uh, yeah, this is my this is my last one on my contract. Okay, so kind oh. of a big fight, right? Because you go into this one, yeah. you can renegotiate. I mean, there's a lot of options for you, right? If you get a big win here. Exactly. So um, I'm going to go out there and perform because you know what I'm saying I'm on my last fight on my contract. So I need to I'm not saying I need to, I will go out there and perform. I have yeah. no choice. And I will do. Does that change the mentality at all for this fight or you just treat it like any other fight? No, I, no. I can't really. I've I just had that mentality the past, um, you know, year or so, year now. Um, I had a fight. I just got to go in there, you know, don't think too much. Just go in there and fight like I used to fight. Just fight. You know what I mean? That's that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go in there and stop you. I've got the, my last fight on contract. I've got to do this. I'm just going to, like I said, that's been grinding me now the past year. I've just been, I'm going to like go in there and just go all out and just go for the win. Um, I wanted to go back to a fight of yours from a couple of years ago when you fought Ilya Teporia. I don't think people give you enough credit for that fight because you almost finished him. Uh, people remember that was a lightweight fight. Teporia was having some weight cut issues. He came up, he fought you. Um, he went on to become champion. Was that something after fighting him you thought would happen? Uh, what was sort of your take on, you know, after your fight where, where Teporia ended up in the featherweight division? No, I, you know, it's because obviously people are, you know, just say this when Ilya and stuff and that, but like literally I, I didn't win the fight, so I don't, I don't really say nothing about it because I just like, it's just one of them ones, you know. I didn't win the fight, so. Um, but you, do you take any credit at all in, in the sense that I mean, there, there's been no one close to finishing him in a fight, and you were the only guy to do it. I, I don't know, if, you know. Again, a loss is a loss. People will look at the record and think otherwise, but you got to take some. You know, I'm sure you got to take something from the fact you almost finished him in that fight. Yeah, yeah, I, I do. I, you know, I do. I, I know. I was like, I was, I was, I was beating him. Clearly winning the fight. You know, clearly winning and beating him. Um, but. You know, lack of concentration and, and discipline, and I, he, I lost the fight. So, yeah, but you know, there is, I, I say, you can say there's pluses from it, but really, um, you know, the way I look at it is, he got the result in the end. So that's that's what really matters, doesn't it? So, but yeah, I, I was doing well. He, there you go. It's a hard game. Game of inches. Do you think he'll beat Max Holloway if they fight? I think that's a I think that's a, um I think that's a real hot that's a real that's a tough fight, man. But I do re, I do think he probably he'll probably win that. Okay. Because Max does get hit, doesn't he? Like he, he's he's great and stuff, but he will stand there and like trade and stuff. Uh, but true. But one thing I will mention, and I think you know this, Max has never been knocked out, which is crazy to think in his entire career. Like if Taporia can't knock him out, do you think that changes the fight a bit, or do you think that even with his striking, he can land more and maybe win a decision? Yeah, I think that's what it's going to come down to. Like, in Max, um, you know, picking him apart from range and, and moving, sticking and moving. Um, and, you know, Ilya backing him up, looking for that um, the KO. Yeah, yeah, we'll, right. we'll have to see how that one goes. And just last question, uh, Conor McGregor's obviously in the news. We don't know if he's coming back. There's some rumors. Maybe he's going to fight again, uh, you know, maybe on that Sphere card or at some point this year. What do you make of the whole Conor thing? Are you kind of over it or you hope he comes back? What, what are your thoughts on Conor uh, potentially fighting Michael Chandler? Yeah, I'm, I, you know, at first I was like, oh, yeah, he's coming back. But after, like, he's been pushed back and pushed back, I'm, I'm not really, like that interesting anymore but yeah i'd love to see kind of come back you know he's an icon in the sport he's done so much for uh you know for the ufc for all the for, for all the mma um so i'd love to see him come back and um you know have another, at least have one more fight but i'd, I'd want to see him in a, a big fight you know like if it could be or islam you know like because there's that there's all that back there's the backstory to all that isn't there so yeah. i really that, like, i'd love to see that fight happen that was fights happen for sure. And I uh, always like interviewing you, Jai. Thanks so much for the time. And I got to mention this, man. You're doing this on like a Friday night. Like you could be out relaxing, getting ready for the weekend, but you're here talking to this Canadian uh, out here in, uh, in in Vancouver. So I appreciate it, man. But before we go, if there's anyone you want to thank or any sponsors you want to mention or any social media you want to plug, I'll give you the last word. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, so I'm on social media, Instagram, uh, Jai Herbert MMA. I want to big up my, um, my, spon my sponsors, uh, um, IGR um, Fitness, and a uh, new sponsor there is Zolan, um, tax accounts you know, over there in Wolverhampton. Yeah, I want to big up those guys who support, supported me, especially and Renegade, Jiu Jitsu, Team Renegade, um, everyone down there, all them for supporting me and all my family as well. So, yeah, thanks for having me on the interview.